I am Duncan MacLeod, born 400 years ago in the highlands of Scotland. I am immortal, and I am not alone. For centuries we have waited for the time of the gathering, when the stroke of a sword and the fall of a head will release the power of the quickening. In the end, there can only be one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're talking about the season one, episode one of Highlander, The Gathering. This was my probably second or third time watching this thing, but as of 2014, this is my first time. As an adult, this is my first time. I do remember my brother, my older brother, uh, Tori. He used to always watch Highlander. He watched everything that had to do with Highlander. And um, that's where I kind of fell in love with the series, too, also. Especially, you know, obviously the movie. And um, then after that, you know, the dude that played... Um, Raiden on Mortal Kombat, that was Highlander, so, you know, if you were a fan of Mortal Kombat, which I am, the, the Mortal Kombat movies, then you should know exactly what's going on inside this movie. You know, it's gonna be dope. Anyway, man, in this episode, we get introduced to the immortal Duncan McCloud, man, and he is in love with this lady, and I don't want to spoil too much, because I think it's a really, really great episode, man, especially for a pilot episode, all right? But what ends up happening, he's in love with this lady. They're making sweet love. All of a sudden, man, a robber comes in. He breaks in the house. He's trying to steal things. Then after that, Duncan kind of senses and feels like, whoa, there's something going on here. I can feel someone inside of the room. He walks outside. He grabs his sword. He walks into the main room. He's like, freeze. I'm going to slice your head off, you know? And, and he thinks that this guy is trying to challenge him uh, to a duel with the swords, and, and he's going to chop his head off. And anyway, the young kid's like, hey, chill, guy, man, I, I just stole a couple of things. It's, everything's going to be okay. Relax, relax. Then all of a sudden, he says, I can send someone else. There's a greater power here. And then, boom, it's through the glass... He drops through, and that's this guy called Slain, man, Slain Quance, um, who played, uh, who's played by Richard Mull, and uh, Slain is is evil, man. He's pure evil. He has his face mask on, like Vega off of Street Fighter. Except he's not Street Fighter, he's not Vega, he's actually slain, he's like this super badass from the world of Highlander. And then all of a sudden we see a familiar face that comes in and he comes to the rescue also. And they know each other because they come from the same um, uh, tribe, if you will, the same clan, uh, clan that they're cut from the same cloth, etc, etc. And then after that, the whole entire uh, episode, the rest of the episode, is pretty much trying to uh, make the decision... Are you going to leave the love of your life that you've been loving for the last 400 years and you want to grow old with this person? Or do you want to fight Slain and then move on with the mission and the journey um, to, you know, be the only one out there, okay? <clears throat> Ends up happening, man. Long story short. Remember that movie, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, with the lizard on the bridge, and he uh, goes inside of there, and Richard Parker's inside of the cab or whatever, and he pulls him out? That exact same scene happens in Highlander, except minus the cab, minus all the cars. They're just on this bridge. There's this really nice, epic scene, fight scene with swords. There's a lot of lightning. There's a lot of uh, thunder. And then all of a sudden, Sling um, comes up to him, comes up to... Um, the original Highlander, and he, uh, you know, slicing and dicing and everything, and then all of a sudden he he, he gets stabbed, Slain does, and then Connor um, goes in for the final kill. Slain comes up, he raises his um, his um, sword up, his katana, if you will, and then he has this like little magical button on there that he presses, and it, it turns into a cannon. He shoots McLean, um, excuse me, he shoots Connor off of uh, off of the uh, bridge. He falls into the water, and then all of a sudden you see Duncan. He comes up and and he comes to the rescue. He fights Slain. There's a whole bunch of electricity and lightning and clashing of uh, the swords, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, Duncan wins with a slight to the tummy, slices his tummy open, his guts pour out, and then after that, he, he says his little, you know, seance thing, and then he says, uh, uh, Slain says, finish me off quickly, um, and then after that, he says, there can only be one, and he slices the head off, electricity comes out, and then all of a sudden, the, the, the air in the sky, you know, uh, begins to fill with lightning and, and rain and, and all this other uh, uh, weather-type elements, you know, and then the lightning strikes on Duncan, and he takes on the, 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 the learned knowledge from that slain uh evil um person okay so he now is the one okay <laughs> um what was kind of cool well i guess the best thing that i loved about this um you know uh episode one gathering was the training between one highlander and the other do you do you see what i'm saying it was pretty cool to see these two guys duking it out and you know just training man i guess almost like i guess batman and superman something like that 
it was really really good episode. I love the you know um, the, the 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 script how it talked about you know you're walking this earth for 400 years you're gonna love and every time that you love you also risk the um, chance of losing that loved one um, and and whenever you do lose them it feels like you you died so yeah I've been living for 400 years but I've died many many times over those uh, 400 years and it kind of is like a love story the story of Highlander okay and uh, also it's a, it's it's um, like a fight club and the only one that can survive or the one the only one that makes it out is the one okay so that's your whole sore purpose inside of Highlander I really love it um, you can look in the description box for the link to watch this episode it's right in the description box It's absolutely free like I said it's from share TV I'm loving this site man anyway guys I'm out of here thanks again for listening watching subscribe do all that good stuff and if you are a fan of Highlander comment let's see what happens and let me ask you this should Highlander be rebooted and they should they bring it back to TV or a movie. Right here.